you may not see them on the campus of Crockett High School. But you can hear the students play because of who's leading them. Oh man, we, uh, we gotta keep the music alive. As orchestra director at Crockett High School, Gino Gottschall is trying to keep the music playing during the pandemic. Because without it, it's just, uh, it seems so bleak. For the past several weeks, Gottschall has conducted music class with students in person and online. I'm looking at kids in the classroom and they're all on their computers looking back at me. So it's, you know, it's, <laughs> it's still virtual even though they're right here. And watch Blue Magic Part 2. In a way, it's like teaching math, English comp, and juggling at the same time. To be real, Frank, it's, it's hard. This is hard. <laughs> what we're doing right now. And I think all teachers would agree with me that trying to teach virtually, um, it's not the same. And it's, it's, we do miss having students in the classroom. Keeping students engaged is the challenge. We kind of not only are the directors, but we are also cheerleaders now. We have to kind of, we have to come up with new uh, innovative ways to entertain our students so that they keep that interest and so that they want to tune in, so they want to come into the class and they want to uh, continue making the music. This YouTube video produced for the Civic Orchestra of Chicago provided Gottschall the inspiration that he was looking for. In March, video clips of 62 social distancing performers were edited together for a virtual concert to celebrate the orchestra's 100th anniversary. Ironically, the group in Chicago was founded during the outbreak of the Spanish flu. Now, during this new pandemic, Gino Gottschall is trying to recreate that virtual performance with his students. Instead of a music stand, Gottschall is now directing from a computer screen. A lot of technical issues are, are involved here. Building a digital orchestra, one audio clip at a time. For the students, the assignment is a life lesson. The technology that we're having to use right now really is the future because regardless of COVID, this is where we're headed, right? He knows that because he's part of the change. Stay with me till the end of time. His band, Gino Gottschall and the Rockholics, has performed on Fox 7, but like other bands, they've struggled to find places to perform during this pandemic. Going virtual is the new stage. It's not about the money anymore. It's just about this is our life. This is our creative outlet. And it's got to come out in some way. And it's going to come out regardless of whether we get paid or not. The immediate goal right now is to complete the virtual arrangement for his students before Christmas break. And while the virtual stage he's creating may not be as large as the one from Chicago, it will strike a chord. If I've given them a platform of being able to use artistic expression um, for their to better enrich their lives. 